Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Rockwin. Last time, I did a little bit more exploring in the house, and uh, I have an idea of what I need to do next if I remember correctly. I don't uh, know my way around the house too much. Let's turn all of these on. Or is that off? I believe down is on. Anyway, I, from what I remember, not there, there was a set of stairs that needed uh, everything to be on, wasn't there? If I remember correctly. Is it in here? And no, it was not in here. So if I can find it, probably I was going to do this off screen, and I was like, nah, I'll do it on screen, and now I'm paying for it. Perhaps it was to the right. Because remember, there was a set of stairs that uh, was completely blocked off because all those trapdoors were open. And I think there was something that said you need to uh, turn on all the power switches before they will close. It's the parents' room. That's locked. Aha, here it is. There we go. Okay. I'm not crazy. I can't wait to eat. Nothing works up an appetite like hiking all afternoon. You said it. Okay, kids, day in. I'm not hungry. How is this possible? I had a big breakfast. He was snacking. Christy! Sorry, I mean, we were both kind of snacking. Haha, <laughs> it's okay, we're on vacation. You two can go play. Yay! If you're lucky, your mother and I will save you some food. <laughs> I wouldn't eat all of it, I'm starving right now. But, I had time to do this, and I didn't want to miss the opportunity. Betty, wait! Christy. Yes, Dad? Be a good girl and watch over your brother, okay? Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. I will. That's my girl. Oh, we are playing as Christy now. Just as we played as, um... That other girl before. Benny! What are you doing? Come back over here before you get hurt. It's okay, Christy. See, look. Oh, don't do that. It's really strong. Come on, Benny, stop joking around. I'm supposed to be watching over you, and... And I just don't want you to get hurt. Aw. It's fine, Christy. You worry too much. Benny, please. Okay, okay, sorry. I'll get off now. Thank you. Oh, Christy, help! Benny! I'm sorry, Dad. Dad, it's time for dinner. Dad? Oh, my heart hurts. It's okay, Christy. Your father is just very tired from work. Why don't you come on back and finish your dinner? Okay, Mom. There you are, Dad. I've been looking all over for you. Dad? I 
I think you should go home, Christina. But... I came to help you catch fish for dinner. Like we always used to. It's just, you always said... Okay. I'll go home. Mom. Yes, dear? Does Dad hate me? Oh, sweetheart. No, of course not. Your father just doesn't show a lot of emotion. There's a lot going on underneath. Lots of complex feelings and thoughts. But there's also a lot of love for you. It doesn't feel like it. He used to be different. I know, dear. But you must believe me when I say that he loves you very much. I'll try. Good night, Christy. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry now. Good night, Mom. Jeez, not only is this really, uh, just a really beautiful game, like, the dialogue is really well written in how it explains things. I love it. Okay. Hopefully we have enough, uh, things to get over. Well, it looks like we have everything we need to make these wings. Alright. Let's get to work. Hannah, can you hold this feather in place while I glue it down? Like this? Yes, that's perfect. We're almost done. I can't wait to fly. Wow, these are great. Do you think they'll work? They look pretty strong to me. I think it'll be fine. Well then, are you ready to go? Let's fly. You really gonna trust your son to homemade wings like that? Oh, and you made two sets. Oh. And look who we have over here. Tony? Hey, kid. How'd you find me? Tony, are you okay? No. Nothing is right. Go ahead, dear. Give him the letter. Don't be afraid. Tony, we found this letter. It's for you. It's from Christy. Dear Dad, it's been so long since you last spoke with me. I miss when you used to take me up in your airplane. I miss how you would teach me stuff. Most of all, I just miss you. I know you go on more business trips to get away from me. I know you hate me because I couldn't protect Benny. But I will always love you. I'm sorry that I couldn't be the daughter you wanted. Love, Christy. Oh my gosh. Oh, Christy, no. No, I don't hate you. I love you so much with all my heart. You don't understand. What happened to Benny was my fault, not yours. I live each day of my life with so much guilt. Looking at you, you look so much like him. I didn't leave because I wanted to get away from you. I left because I didn't know how to deal with what had happened. I know that's selfish and I'm sorry. But knowing you feel this way, I can't bear it, Christy. I love you so much and I've only ever wanted the best for you. You'll always be my little girl. Christy's journal key. So finally we get to see what's inside the journal. So without further ado, let us head over there.
it's right over here. Young Girl's Diary, open it. There's a folded note inside labeled to Christy from Dad. I'm sorry that I have to leave again, Christy, but to help you understand just how much I love you, I want you to have this. When your mother tucks you in tonight, promise me you'll listen to this. And that you'll think of the song I will sing to you at bedtime. Even though I go far away for work, you should always know that no matter how tall you grow, you'll always be my little girl. Love, Dad. Daddy, I can't sleep. It's already an hour past your bedtime, Christy. How can you not be sleepy? Did your mother let you have extra honey again? Hehe. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to sing you a song. Your songs are the silliest. <laughs> la la la, me me me, so 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 so. What are you doing? Warming up my voice, of course, and no warm up could be complete without a. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, you are the funniest. If you brush your teeth and you get good grades, I will be so proud. Maybe I'll even shout out loud or do a funny dance. Ha ha ha! Even though I go far away for work, you should always know that no matter how tall you grow, you'll always be my little girl. Good night, Christy. You received Mori no Kokoro Part 2. So we should see Mori Zora again here. I got the achievement, Runestone Family. Huh? Where'd all the pears go? Yeah, Christy was here with her kids, I believe. Hmm, I am not sure. But now that we know Tony's song, we can finally have Blacksmith, Blacksmith Jackie fix that music box. We'd better run there. Why is that? So that we don't accidentally forget the song before we get there. Haha, <laughs> you're right, let's go. And luckily it just takes us there automatically, it looks like. That was a very silly song. Welcome back, guys. What can I do for you? We know the song. Jackie, we know the music box's song now. You do? Well, that's a fantastic news. I'll get right to work. We'll have this bad boy up and running in no time. My music box. The, the Tony bear in my hut. <laughs> Don't worry, he won't hurt you. Little label, did you fix my music box? The music box belongs to Tony? Yes, I'm sorry we didn't tell you. It's just, he really looked like he needed help, but he didn't know how to ask. So the little label did fix it. If I say yes, will you not eat me? <laughs> I can't believe this. I don't even know what this means to me. I can't thank you enough. I'm so sorry for destroying your gardens. You're a much nicer creature than I give you credit for. I guess I've been a big jerk. Well, from here on out, not only do I promise not to harm your village, I also promise to protect it. I owe you so much. The least I could do is show you my gratitude. 
I well uh, Thank you, Tony Bear. Thank you, all my new little friends. Mom, look! It's another door! Should we see where it leads? Yeah! Oh, and I'm not controlling this, so I was gonna stop right before to leave it a cliffhanger, but no, game won't let me. Who's there? I thought I told you stupid nurses to leave me alone, huh? Christy? Hey, Dad. I'm glad you're here. Me too, Dad. Oh, we're gonna visit from Eye Patch Kid again. Scared me. Oh, there he is. He's still sleeping. I don't remember what voice I gave him. Yami, it's you. You should really be used to this by now. Heh. <laughs> so I hear you're becoming a regular hero around here, eh? Helping out your neighbors, saving little pink cat creatures from angry bears. Wait, you know about Leewolves? Of course I do. You think you're so special, the only one who's been to the forest? Oh, no, no, I didn't mean that at all. I just... Before, when you didn't understand why the book was important to me, I thought... I thought that meant you hadn't read the story before. I'm sorry, Yami, I just... Hey, I was just kidding. It's all good, you don't have to explain. So that means you'd know about Moizora. Of course I do. That's great, Yami. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, I couldn't even believe it the first time I saw it. Everything's so wonderful there. The creatures are real. They want to talk to me and help me, and I want to help them too. <laughs> yeah, everyone loves you when they want something from you. Wait, what? I'm just saying, it's human nature, you know? Well, they aren't humans, they're leewolves and bears and weird fish creatures. Anyway, shouldn't feel bad about it, it's just the way it is. Hmm. Are you gonna wish for anything? For more Zora? Yeah. I don't know. Last I saw, he was sleeping, and even if he did wake up, I doubt he'd grant me a wish. Why do you think that? Wishes are for good kids. Kids that help people, kids that are strong. I'm too weak and too sick. How could I ever help anyone with anything? Oh, yummy. Ah, oh, man, I gotta get busted if I, the nurse catches me again. Better go. Yummy? What? You've helped me. Huh? Why? I break into your room every night and you mistake me for your mom? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, maybe. What do you want about? You keep me company. And you understand. Nights are the loneliest, you know, but when you're here, it's not so bad. Well, thanks for saying that. I mean it. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? I did. I feel refreshed. And that's what I like to hear. So, looks like we're all set. I got these tests to the lab and... Shanti, I'm terribly sorry to interrupt, but... We're having a bit of a problem. 
No worries, Kenji. What did you need? Well, I hate to tell you this, but... Kisaburo got out again. <laughs> That's what I thought. What? He broke the new boards we put- Oh. <laughs> and got to the space behind his room. <laughs> yes, he was the one who broke those boards. And I'm pretty sure he got outside too. Because there's more boxes and more mud. <sighs> Why? I just don't have time for this now. I think we might have to reevaluate Kisaburo's medication. Unfortunately, I think you are probably right. Sorry guys, but I gotta run. You're free to walk around today if you like. Yay! Thank you, Doctor. I hope everything is okay. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. You know how it is. Just another day at the hospital. Okay, Kenji, I'll meet you in Kisaburo's room. Got it. What do you think? Should we go see what's going on with Kisaburo? Yeah, let's go, Mom. Alright, so uh, we have now helped Tony and got the second part of the Moi no Kokoro. But I believe now we have to help Kisaburo. Why does he dig so much? Well, let's uh, begin that journey to knowledge le next time on Let's Play Rockwood. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.